536 and we hear it all the time. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day and yet more than 30% of students skip breakfast every morning. Jenna James joins us now with why it is just so crucial to get students this first meal of the day. Jenna. Good morning, Dave and Sari. Students who eat breakfast are guaranteed to outperform other students that don't. A number of studies have shown that not only are they going to do better on their test scores, they're also going to have less sick days and have a stronger sense of community since they'll be sitting down with others to eat breakfast. Now, not only that, but they're going to participate more and then they're going to learn to love school again. 76% of teachers say that once they started seeing kids eat breakfast in the classroom, test scores went way up. Teachers work, work very hard to educate kids. It's difficult to educate a kid that's hungry. And uh, you have to address basic student wellness. Once we increased breakfast, so what are those kids eating? Well, it's not going to be something like cereal since kids want something they can grab and go. This takes too much time. You have to sit down and actually eat it. Instead, it's something like a breakfast bar or a breakfast sandwich that kids really love. So I took a look at what are different school districts serving this morning for breakfast. Well, Ralston High, they're doing waffle sticks or a sausage muffin. Papillion La Vista is serving up a pancake wrap. And Millard is offering mini pancakes or an egg and cheese croissant. So Dave Cerise, definitely all these different grab and go options really doing well in the schools. Yeah, Jenna, those are convenient. What about the nutritional value of those foods? Yeah, that, the good news is that because of 2010, there was an act that was passed that forced schools to start to have to offer whole grains, lower sodium, and lower fat content. However, then since last year, a few different members of Congress are trying to limit those restrictions since they're saying that kids just aren't eating those foods and they're getting thrown away. It didn't pass last year in Congress, but it's on the table again this year. Yeah, we all saw a bunch of videos where the kids were just not eating all those healthy options, throwing them in the wastebasket. Yep. So. You can certainly put it in front of them. doesn't mean they're going to eat right. it. <laughs> all right. Jenna Jane's reporting live this morning. Jenna, thank you.